What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we have this diamond choice pack, guaranteed diamond. This one's from hitting, I believe, diamond level 1. And uh, we have this pack to open here today. So if y'all enjoy pack openings, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, comment anything down below. I need your help in the comment section after I make my pick or just even before or even after it just let me know if you were in my shoes who you would have chosen and why and after I make my decision let me know if you guys want to see that player try to play a few games see how we do with them stuff like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick before we do open this pack it's the one that contains these guys in case you didn't know uh, we can go over the stats of the guys that I don't have I already have Frank Thomas and Tony Gwynn okay the ones that I do not have are Brooks Robinson Joe Morgan and Duke Snyder you know what we'll just no 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 I'll show you my squad first so third base second base center field he also plays the other outfield spots joe morgan doesn't play anything else brooks robinson doesn't so outfield third base second base and real quick i can just show you guys my squad this is the squad that we're currently rocking with so if i were to get joe morgan he would be going in for roberto alomar let me actually see something too real quick and after we open this pack too we're gonna have another gameplay with uh with the team that we're three you know with in battle royale right now on my main account too so in case you guys want to see some gameplay it's going to be uh happening after i make my decision decision so if i were to get joe morgan we would be putting him in for roberto alomar if i were to get brooks robinson we would be putting him in for matt williams and I, if i wanted to keep matt williams in my lineup i can move him to shortstop uh i just don't know if i would want to do that though but yeah so Joe Morgan would go to second for Roberto. Brooks Robinson would go to third for Matt Williams. And Duke Snyder would go in the outfield for... Man. It's tough because... I, okay, I, I can turn on my cam too. So, like, if you guys want to see my stats, I'm batting 356 with Ichiro. 415 with Andrew McCutcheon. About half of that. Actually, no, about a fourth of that is Battle Royale, though. And, uh, and then 334 with Tony Gwynn. So, like, all these guys I'm doing well with. I'm doing the worst with Tony Gwynn. So... I don't I'd like if if I were to choose Duke Snyder, I would probably be taking out Tony Gwynn. I just it, it's such a tough decision for me. Okay, it's really a tough decision, man. Oh lord, I didn't realize how hard of a decision this was gonna be. But let's go back to the pack and uh, let's go ahead and show you guys. I guess I can just do this, open it, and then show you guys the stats. You guys can see the wheel here, uh, but I can can I press triangle? I can. So. Looking at their stats, and we can see, I, I've used some of these guys in Battle Royale too, so we can check that out. And I'm sorry that it's going to be taking me a while to make this decision. I just, I, I want to like talk in depth about each player, why I would maybe decide and stuff like that. And kind of, so you guys have the entire layout. I, would, I just want to make sure you guys like know. So I'm sorry that it's going to take me a while to make this decision, whatever. Um, but that's just the way it is for this video. So we got Duke Snyder, 115 and 93 for the contact, 110 and 83 for the power, 108 for the vision. So as a lefty he's not that great again i mean he's he's not as good against he's so good he's not as good against lefties but destroys righties with some high vision vision some decent speed and some good fielding and in 12 at bats and four for 12 with no homers all in battle royale obviously that's how it's going to be for these players joe morgan i've used him in battle royale 19 for i've used him a lot more than i thought i had 19 for 54 in battle royale with seven homers 352 average so he's been he's been doing well for me in battle royale uh if you take a look at his actual attributes though 101 and 98 first contact 85 and 72 for the power 124 vision with some good fielding 94 speed great stealing attributes as well so like overall a great card i mean he's 99 of course he's uh, <laughs> overall he's 99 overall of course he's a good overall card now i don't think i want joe morgan just because i would prefer roberto alomar in my lineup right I would rather have Roberto than Joe. I'm pretty sure. Like that that's just that's just me. And then uh the last guy that we're thinking about is Brooks Robinson. I think I've used him. Yeah, I've used him. So 97 and 105 for the context, 78 and 79 for the power with 125 vision. 99 feeling though. Like I feel like this is like this card's main strong suit. Obviously he's a pretty solid hitter, but where he gets I, I would say a lot of his rating from is those fielding attributes at third. 99 fielding, 97 arm strength, 99 arm accuracy with 97 reaction. Just a great fielding card. And I've used him a little bit in Battle Royale, one for four, batting 250. And I just don't think I would want to take him over Matt Williams. You know, I would, I would prefer to have Matt Williams in my lineup. So it's like Joe Morgan, it's like, uh, I'd rather have Roberto. Uh, instead of Brooks, I'd rather have Matt Williams. And then if we go in and talk about Duke Snyder, though, it's like, I'd rather have Ichiro McCutcheon and Tony Gwynn. 
they're all do they're all killing it for me with that being said this is where i need your guys' help in the comment section okay so i think i am gonna choose duke snyder let me know who you wanted me to choose or who you would have chosen if you were in my situation right where uh we have that team that i do roberto at second matt williams at third and then the outfield that i have let me know who you would have chosen out of those three personally i'm gonna choose duke snyder and this is where i need your help in the comment section though who do you think I should replace for Duke Snyder? Now, with that being said, I'm not going to replace this person necessarily permanently. I'm just going to get Duke Snyder some gameplay and some time, have him debut, and see how we like him. Uh, but who do you think, if you were me, you would replace Ichiro, Andrew McCutcheon, or Tony Gwynn? Keep in mind, the batting average, just looking at that, it goes Andrew McCutcheon, Ichiro, Tony Gwynn, with I would say Ichiro number one just because he's had a lot more plate appearances and that's all in ranked seasons. A lot of McCutcheons were in Battle Royale and All-Star difficulty, not Hall of Famer legend like Tony Gwynn and, and, and Ichiro had to do. Now, if I were to replace McCutcheon, that would be three lefties in the outfield, three lefty, lefty bats. If I were to replace Tony Gwynn or Ichiro, it would be replacing a lefty bat. My personal thinking is that I am going to... I guess probably replace Tony Gwynn. I'm just really not sure though, and that's why I need, like I, I have no idea. So that's why I need your help down that comment section again. I'm sorry it took me so long to actually get into that, actually get into my my decision. There was a lot that I just wanted to talk about and go over, and uh, just give you guys like the full scenario, scenario, whatever you want to pronounce it. In case you guys are wondering what the battle royale team's looking like, I won't go through every player or anything, but here's the team that we're rocking with. I'm really liking the hitting for the most part. I just wish we didn't have so many righties. That's like the only downside to it. And then in the bullpen though, Kenley Jansen, 5.4 ERA guys. I, like I've been struggling with him a little bit. The main thing is I think I've given up two, maybe three homers. Is there a way to check? I've given up three earned runs. Two of them were uh, were home runs. I think. I don't know. Either way, I'm just I'm not doing as well as I would have liked to with him. So if we want to go 12 and 0, I need to start picking it up a little bit with him. And I'm hoping we can win this game. Stay undefeated. Get win number four. Be a third of the way to 12 and 0 with this team. We're playing YouTube the Penetrator. Ooh, a fellow YouTuber. Our opponent has 97 Larry Doby, Paul De Young, 93 Joe Torre. I love that car, by the way. Charlie Blackman, 82 Scope. Jorge Polanco, Luke Voyage, on Carlos Stanton on the mound. We got Mike Stanton on the mound. David Hess on the mound, Stanton on his team. We got uh, we got Mike Stanton. He has Giancarlo Stanton. I didn't see who was on the mound for us. We're the home team. We're really looking to try to win this game, guys. Be closer to 12-0. Hey, I, I, was, I was sitting there thinking, wow, he has 14 hits with Paul DeYoung, but no homers. And, uh, hey, what, what a nice guy I am. Letting him get his first home run. With uh, with Paul DeYoung, I probably should have brought in Kenley Jansen. I just wanted to make sure he was fully warm. It's stupid on my end. Uh, this is not the first time, though. We've been down one to nothing in Battle Royale. I'm hoping that's the only run we, we allow here. And I'm hoping that we can at least tie the game in the bottom of the first inning, though. I've been able to do that pretty well so far. I'm hoping we can keep it going. I'm also hoping that Kenley Jansen can get this final out of the inning. Because, I, 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 like I said, I've been struggling with him, and it's sad. And it's, it's, not, it's, it's not him, it's me. I know that. You know, like, the way I worded in my videos, guys, I'm sorry sometimes if it seems like I'm blaming the pitcher. Like, obviously, it's my fault for the most part. Uh, with someone like Nolan Ryan, I think it's, it's a lack of pitch selection and then his control attribute, in addition to me sucking at pitching, right? Um, but with someone like Kenley Jansen, I, I, I realize that it's, it's not actually him, it's me, right? You know, I, like, I realize that. Um... But I'm, I'm just hoping I... Oh, I needed that. I'm hoping I can improve, which would mean, like, he improves, too. And uh, that's a base hit, one out hit. Trying to get out of this inning. Jonathan Scope facing Kenley Jansen here. But it's weird. And, like, I don't know what it is. Certain pitchers I seem to do better than others with in terms of locating my pitches. Like, there's some relief pitchers. I, I can't think of any off the top of my head where it's like, I'm just, like, like... Hitting my spot after spot after spot, and then someone like Kenley Jansen, for some reason, I just I don't seem to be hitting it as constantly as maybe I do with someone else. He's getting us down at the inning, though. Let's try to go bottom of the first inning. Hopefully, at least tie it up here. And he hits Jorge Polanco. Okay, two out hit by pitch. Nolan Arenado coming up. I really would like to get a hit here. Nolan, dude, I don't have a hit with Nolan Arnauto. Why? Man, my diamond picks for me have not been doing super well recently. Kenley Jansen's not doing amazing. 
Uh, Mini Minoso the other day wasn't doing great. Nolan Arenado here doesn't have a hit. Like, what is going on with my diamond picks? Man, I gotta say, it, like... Ah, oh, shoot. I still don't have a hit. I really need to, to, to find diamonds that I know I do well with and enjoy using and, and always draft those. I don't care if there's new guys that I haven't used. I, I need to go with what I what I do well with, I think, to go 12. You know, I feel like that's actually a good strategy to go 12-0. and 0. Like, use players you know you do well with, including relievers, obviously, but especially hitters. Man, I should follow that strategy. I've gotten some comments from you guys, too, saying stop drafting guys that you've never used and, and, and draft players you know you do well with. And I should do that, which I think I've been trying to do that a little bit more. Now, I've been drafting new guys if they seem like they'll be really good or if there's no one else in the round that I really want to take. So I think I've been doing a little bit better and just getting better at my drafting and then also my strategy when actually playing Battle Royale as well. As Kenley Jansen is doing pretty solid here this game. Yeah, Stanton getting a base hit. That was just a bad pitch. Didn't locate it where I wanted it. Two out base hit for Stanton. Going to be a double beating the shift like crazy. Two down. Runner on second for a pinch hitter. There we go. Getting out of the inning. We're winning the foot race. Yes, okay. Going to the bottom of the second. Still, though, down by one, guys. So we really need to try to score here and, uh, and at least tie the game. I would prefer to take the lead. He brings in a righty. It is Michael Givens. We have Randall Gritchick. Five hits, four of them dingers. Let's get hit number five, maybe home run. Hit number six, maybe home run number five right here. And ball four to Randall. Lead off walk. I'll take it. Tying run on base. Devin Travis coming up. Let's try to drive in Randall. Oh, man. Let's go. Back-to-back -back base runners. Tying run in scoring position. No one out here. Stanton. Wow. Just missing that one. Do I go to third? Stanton has a good arm, right? He's pretty powerful. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. So it takes five Mississippi. I don't know. I was going to say it takes five Mississippis for a 74 speed guy to get to the bat, but nah. I have no idea what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, apparently. Oh, man. I hope I don't choke this opportunity. Byron Buxton into the outfield. I wish it was going to get over the fielder's head, but at least it's going to advance a runner into 90 feet away position. And maybe a pinch hitter, Chris Davis or somebody like that, could come through. And put us in the lead. Chris Davis. Pinch hitting. Dead center field at the wall. Oh, it's putting us in the lead. I thought I, I legit was thinking maybe it's going to be a home run. But Chris Davis. Two RBI triple. Huge pinch hit there. We're three, we're three outs. Not runs. Three outs away from winning this game now. Let's go, Chris Davis. Gary Sanchez down the line. We extend our lead to two. Oh, man. Team's coming through here. Gary Sanchez might be gone. Team's coming through, though. Yeah, we're out. We're three outs away. We scored two in the inning. And I'm hoping my team can get me this win, guys. I really would like to be 4-0 with this team. And that's the ball game. We are 4-0 with this team, guys. One-third of the way to 12-0. I like this team. Like I said, though, I, I, wasn't in the, I don't even know when I said this, but at some point during this, this run with this team, uh, I was talking about how I just need to score more runs than my opponent every game, and then we'll go 12 and 0. So that's what we need to keep doing. And I need to score in the first two innings, though. If, if we're losing in the third inning, I think it's going to be pretty tough for me to uh, to win these games. We got to take the lead and hold on to it in the first or second inning, and I think we should be going 12 and 0 realistically. Kenley Jansen, I think I did a little bit better that game with him than I've been doing, and just overall. I like the team. I wish we had more switch hitters and more lefties in the lineup, but they're still getting it done for the most part. If y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below, follow on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, second channel. All that's down in the description. I'll see you next time. Thank you as always for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.